search for water as the Africa Sundown Foundation introduced a new technology that is helping in collection and storage of water during the rainy season to be used in the dry season. Well, the technology is called the sand dam. And on this week's episode of The Next Frontier, Philip Keitani was in Tawa in Makweni County and tells us more as we close for the business news tonight. My walk through the tiny footpaths of the villages in Tawa Makweni County are purposeful and in search of a particular river with a life-changing technology. Makweni is one of the driest counties in the country and water here is a precious commodity. And now, this reinforced wall built across this river is changing lives around here. These structures are developed and constructed by the African Sundam Foundation who are working closely with marginalized rural communities in arid and semi-arid regions in a bid to increase access to clean water, health, food production, and incomes. According to Winfrey Mwangangi, before the construction of the Sandam and due to the arid nature of the locality, they face daily challenges relating to a lack of food and the scarcity of water and trekking several kilometers in search of the precious commodity. Tunapigana ni kwa sababu unakuja na unataka ku, ku, kuchota maji bele ya mwenzako. Cornelius Kialo tells me during the dry season, water collects behind the dam and brings with it tons of sand and silt. Over the course of around three rainy seasons, the sun builds up behind the dam and collects water. We've managed to support them uh, implement 383 sand dams. Sandams have seen these communities break the circle of dependence on relief food and are now practicing sustainable agriculture, which has increased agricultural productivity in the county. Residents then use the water, and more of it is trapped beneath the sand, which the wall also blocks from being washed downstream. The dams are simple, low-cost, low-maintenance technology that retains water and recharges underground water. Sandams are the most cost-effective methods of water conservation in drylands. Instead of people scooping water, we are doing shallow wells. We are pumping water from the dams. And we are also enabling perforated pipes to allow water to flow below the dam. Once the top water is finished, one can easily dig into the sand to access the stored water. The sand normally protects the water beneath it from evaporating. To an ordinary eye, this will pass as a dry, hopeless riverbed. But for this community living here in Tawa, Makweni County, this is a huge water reservoir that is holding water for them, that they use for human consumption, watering their animals, and even irrigation. Philip Kaitang, for the next frontier. This is KTN News.